Hi, it's Cake Up Kristen, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also turn on your post notifications so you can get updates when I post new videos. <laughs> start off with my prep and prime by MAC and this is just gonna help keep my makeup last all day long now I'm gonna go in with the foundation that's a few shades lighter than my actual skin tone and I'm gonna apply that with a damp beauty blender I'm going to apply some down my neck and my chest as well. Now I'm going to set all of that with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder in the shade True Beige 222. I'm going to apply that with this big fluffy brush. I'm going to go into my Kat Von D shade and light palette into the darkest shade. I'm going to give myself a very bold contour to make my cheeks look sunken in and to make myself look a little bit more dead. And I'm contouring a little bit higher than I usually would and I'm bringing that down to my jawline. I actually really don't like this bronzer anymore. It has a lot of fallout I feel like. This is like the darkest bronzer that I have as of right now so it's gonna have to do. Now I'm gonna take this flat brush and contour my nose, my collarbones, and a little bit of my ribs. Now I'm going to blend all that out with this flat top brush. I'm gonna go over that with some of the pressed powder so it doesn't look so out there. I'm gonna fill in my brows with my e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the color medium brown. And I'm gonna apply that with this angled eyebrow brush. I'm gonna do this off camera because I feel like it's gonna take too long, but if you wanna see how I do my brows, I do have a separate brow tutorial, so if you wanna check that out, I'll put it in the description below. So I just finished doing my brows. I didn't conceal them as much as I would normally because this look is kind of messy anyway, so I didn't worry about that too much. Now I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using mostly these brushes. Now I'm going to start off with this yellow shade from my 35B Morphe Brushes palette. I'm mainly going to focus that on the outer part of my eye, or my eye socket would be. So it's just going to help you look more bruised and sick. I'm going to go in with this maroon shade and do the same thing, but I'm just going to focus that a little bit more towards the center. I'm actually just going to rub this all over my eye. Not really being like precise in where I'm applying, I'm just kind of going all over. And I'm also going to bring that color into the inner corners as well. While I'm doing that, I'm actually going to just add those same colors to some random parts of my face. And on my chest and neck as well. And these are going to be some other bruises on the body. I'm 
gonna take some of that maroon color and add it to the inside of my lips just to add a little bit of color. I want my lips to look small, but I still want it to have a little bit of pigment. I'm gonna dip into this navy blue, add that on top of the maroon, but a little bit closer to the center of the eye and in the inner corners too. One thing about this is, like I said, you don't have to be perfect and you can make each bruise um, a different intensity that you want. Now I'm going to go in with some green, basically just painting a rainbow on her face and bunny. And now for some black. Now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and just blending all of that color out so it doesn't look like a rainbow. To make the eyes a little bit darker, I'm going to take my Inglot black liner. I'm going to apply that to the top and bottom lash line and before that dries, I'm going to smudge it out with my finger. This didn't um, smudge out the way that I wanted it to, so I'm going to dip into my Mayron face paint palette into black and try to blend this out a little bit more. I'm actually going to do that with one of the blending brushes. I'm using less and less pressure as I blend upwards. And also I'm drying my brush even more and more. Mostly just dry brushing once I get towards the outer parts of my eye. Now I'm going to switch back to my dry blending brush and I'm going to dip into some black eyeshadow and just go over that just to set everything in place and to blend it out further. Lastly for the eyes, I'm going to add some mascara and this is the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One. For the bite marks and cuts, I'm going to use my Mayron 3D gel and I'm going to run this under hot water so it gets liquidy and while that's running under hot water I'm going to go in with a detail brush and dip into some navy blue and purple eyeshadow to create some veins under the eyes and on my chest and forehead. Before I add the veins, I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the number NC30. I'm going to put some of this under my eye because I feel like I made it too dark. The 3D gel is in liquid form, so now I'm going to just put some of that onto my fingers and I'm going to just place it on the spots where I want to have some zombie bites or cuts and I'm going to spread that really thin. Be careful not to get this in your hair because it's going to be a bitch to get out. If you don't have any latex, you can also use some Elmer's glue and the one that they sell in the little tube that you squeeze out that works as well take some tissue paper and I'm gonna rip that apart until it's one ply and I'm gonna 
rip it into the shape the same shape as the latex that I just applied now I'm gonna apply another layer on top okay, this is actually taking my makeup away right here but that's okay we're gonna work with it I'm gonna try to make the edges blend in with my skin as much as possible and to be honest this is only my third time trying this and I'm not that great at it but I'm gonna try my best and now I'm gonna take some more tissue and put another layer on top and then after that I'm gonna put some more latex on top of that smooth out the edges and then I'm gonna slice in the middle and create the cuts and whatnot. But I'm gonna do that off camera because this is taking too long. This is gonna be the zombie bite. Now I'm just going to let that sit and dry for about 10 minutes or so and then I'll come back. So my friend just told me that I was supposed to put the latex on before my foundation, so fuck it up. Well we already went too far in this so I'm just going to continue. <laughs> you guys, you guys should put the latex on before your foundation. <laughs> Actually, you know what? If you even like this look before I even put the latex on, you can actually stop here if you wanted to. And then add some like red paint or some fake blood that you have. Um, you honestly don't have to do the cuts and wounds and stuff like that, but I'm extra, so... I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some powder over the latex. It's not completely dry yet, but this shit takes forever to fucking dry, so... We just gonna keep going on with it. Like I said, I'm not the best at latex, so it's fine though, it's fine. Now we know. You know, don't be afraid to mess up. Um, everything takes practice. You'll honestly become a better artist if you actually make those mistakes and learn from them. So I am definitely still learning. I'm not the greatest makeup artist, but I try. I don't like that like watermark that it's leaving, so I'm gonna go try and apply some of the foundation on top, even though you're not really supposed to apply foundation on top of powder, but what do you lose? I'm gonna add some of that maroon color. I'm gonna apply that all over the wounds. We're just gonna basically make your whole face look infected because things didn't go as planned. with a detailed brush and I'm gonna dip into some paint red and wild orchid mix those together and then I'm going to pick up some of this Egyptian magic cream so it stays like moist looking instead of drying up since it is a water-based paint I'm gonna apply that in the center of the cuts bit of black to make the cut look a little deeper. Put on my brush some water and 
drip it down to make some blood cups. I'm gonna take a like eyebrow brush like this. And I'm gonna dip into some paint on the side. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know I am not a professional or anything, but I do like how this came out overall. Um, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also hit that bell-shaped button so you can be notified of when I post new videos. Thanks again, guys. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.